Hey guys, it's Chelsea. So, um, tonight, because <laughs> I'm filming this at night, um, I'm filming this in my closet, so I'm sorry it's probably an extremely distracting background, but this is a video that I need to make now, <laughs> because um, I was going to wait till tomorrow morning, but things just kind of took a turn tonight, and uh, I just want to make a video and talk about it, because this is my channel, and I can put up whatever I want to put up. Um, I'm really sad <laughs> um, and disappointed, and yeah. So basically, the reason I'm making this video is because this is a channel about my life, and although there are certain parts of my life that I do not share, I do share a lot, and I feel like especially major life moments, I don't necessarily want to film each of those all the time. Sometimes you want to like enjoy those moments in the moment, you know, not be shoving a camera around, but I do want to talk about them, and this is a huge one <laughs> that I want to talk about, um, and it's basically the fact that I'm single now. Um, I've been asked not to get into the details of it, so I won't, but um, I wanted to turn this video into something else. A lot of my kind of past breakup videos uh, <laughs> have all been just kind of crazy and sad, and I think I still have one up, like my breakup, and I don't know if I want to take it down, like it just doesn't really matter anymore. Um, I still get comments on it though, like people saying, I'm so sorry, and it's like, girl, I done been back together with him twice since that video, like, <laughs> but, um, anyway, th in the past they've all been that way, just kind of like cry, sad, blah, 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 mad, what have you, and I wanted to make this different. I want to turn this into just kind of talking to you guys about the situation, about where I'm at. Um, I'm just gonna say my ex because I don't want to cause any issues with using his name because I'm pretty sure he wants to dis distance himself from me as much as possible at this point. But, um, me and my ex, which is so weird to say, I literally have probably been single now for like 24 hours. <laughs> That's about it. Um, but it's been a very long, it's kind of been like a couple days, but it officially happened yesterday. Everything was given back yesterday, and today has been the first, you know, official single day. Um, I had a pretty good day today, honestly. Um, very positive and things, but what makes me the most sad is um, that this is it. That um, me and my ex have been in a unhealthy, off and on relationship, and it is unfortunate because I did not feel like this time was worthy of breaking up, but um, that is, th that's the way the cookie crumbled and there's nothing you can do about that and um, he is his own person and this is what he wanted, so this is what he gets. Um, I'm sad because my ex was the, I'm not going to cry was the first love of my life and it's it's hard I've never dealt with it before I've never truly really loved someone like I loved him so this is all new to me and I know that I'll be fine like in a week I won't be so kind of emotionally on the edge about things but it's just kind of sad because it was a lot of good times. He was a huge part of my life. He was on my YouTube channel. Um, he knew everything about me. He... just everything. But I want to turn this video into a not so sad, but just like... <sighs> happier. <laughs> that um, I am okay. I really am. It's just kind of... I don't really want to go on any sort of websites like Tinder or any or apps, I guess you could say, right now. But I almost feel like I, I should because I, there's this kind of like void of talking to someone. Like I've been texting my friends a lot and stuff, but it's just not the same. Like 
but I'd st I definitely feel like it's way too soon to even start getting involved with someone else because I think I just need like a breather from it all. But um, for my birthday, me and my sister are planning to go to this like spa resort thing, so that's going to be really nice because I'll be able, because that's coming up soon. Uh, my birthday is June 26th, so I'll be able to just kind of sit back and relax and just kind of oh, about life and everything. Um, but it's a shame. I mean, just to go into details a little bit, just because I want to, I want to let you guys know, because I don't want you to go through the same situation, and this is just kind of like an advice portion. Um, as a woman, as a girl, what have you, please do not do, uh, please do not take your relationship status for granted. Please do not assume that because you think you're doing really good that you're, um, the person you're with thinks you're doing really good and because at the end of the day your relationship can be going awesome, awesome, great and one little thing, one little fight, one little argument, what have you will tip it over the edge and cause them to not want to be with you anymore. Not that that's what happened to me or anything, <laughs> but I'm just not, I'm not gonna lie, that's what happened. Uh, arguing is... It's part of a relationship. It doesn't need to be a big part, but at the end of the day, if someone can't handle an argument every now and again, then that's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, it's funny because I thought me and my ex were kind of like on good terms. Like when we met up yesterday, I thought everything was good. Um, things were talked out. It was maybe going to be like a casual, like maybe chat every now and then hey how are you or what have you um, but upon asking about doing this video I was I, like I, I was in a good mood until uh, that because um, basically the last thing that I heard from him was and you know telling him that you know we weren't going to talk anymore because I asked him about this about me being able to film this and I the response I got was kind of whatever not very nice so um, I <laughs> upon telling him that we would not be talking ever again I got an okay with the peace emoji and um, that was probably the most hurtful thing in the world I'm not gonna lie um, feels like two and a half years were most certainly wasted um, you know because I felt like earlier I was like you know appreciative like okay I learned what have you, but after that, it's just like, wow, like, you do not respect me, you do not give a shit, and that's so funny, because we've not even been broken up for two days, and I am already jack shit to you. Um, and I'm not trying to, like, defamate his character by saying that, because that's just how he wanted to treat me, I guess, but, um, I'm speaking on behalf of my feelings, that I'm extremely hurt, and I should have probably waited to film this video when I wasn't so hurt, because that's not what I wanted this video to be about, but I just had to tell you guys, because that's, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm dealing with right now. And, yeah. <laughs> so, before I was maybe okay with us just kind of like being a friend every now and again, or like what have you, but now, uh, there will be no more contact after this. And that's sad, too. And what I, and back to the advice stuff, you know, just don't take, like, what you have for granted. And, uh, just treat every argument and treat every situation like it could be the situation that ends it. So do the best you can. Don't hold back your feelings. Don't do anything like that. Like, definitely speak your mind, speak your truth. Um, you know, if they're doing something wrong, tell them. But I'm saying to just kind of like pick your battles and just know what's worth it and what's not, you know what I mean? Because you never know what the other person's thinking or what's going on, and it could be what ends the whole thing overnight. <laughs> and, um, I'll be okay. Me and my sister were talking about it, and, um, I mean, our theory is that as women, we go through the grieving stage really early and then we move on quickly. Um, it's one of those things like we're really upset for a couple days and then we get over it and we're fine. 
but with guys it's like they're fine until maybe a couple week a week or a couple weeks later and it really hits them and then that's when they're upset <laughs> and that's not true for every guy and I'm not saying it's true for my ex but all I'm saying is it's just kind of funny how like the different genders deal with things um, but I'm happy that there will be light at the end of the tunnel for me <sighs> it's just kind of sad you know it's like it's like death or something and I'm sure he doesn't think it's that bad at all but for me that's kind of what it is you know it's like putting the pictures away throwing everything out like um just it's like a death you know it's like saying goodbye to a part of your life and I wish it would have ended better I wish it would have been more and this isn't me like crying out to him if he sees this video no I'm just saying you know I wish it would have ended better I wish it would have been more casual you know like hey you ever need anything, blah, 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 but it was not, and, uh, that's okay, that's okay, because, uh, that's him, so he can do what he wants, it just showed me that, uh, okay, um, we're gonna take the other route then, which is goodbye forever, and that's a hard statement to make, I have a hard time with that word forever, but it's okay, because I know that one day I will find someone that truly appreciates me and will want to work things out with me and will not just be there for the good times but will also be there through the bad times and I think that's what's really important and, and what I want you guys to take away from this is you gotta find someone that's willing to be through it all with you, you know? Like, I thought I found that but I didn't because I'm here but um it's okay. You know, at the end of the day, I am kind of upset about how the whole situation legit ended, like the last conversation, but it's okay because I still don't have any ill will. I still want him to go on and do great things and uh, do whatever it is he wants to do and be great at it. It just won't involve me and that's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. <sighs> it's just... It's funny, because, like, when you're in a relationship, at least for me, um, any chance I get to kind of, like, bring the person I'm with up or, like, what have you, I usually do. So it's so weird trying to, like, adjust that. That's been, like, my biggest adjustment is, like, talking about something and I'd be like, oh, yeah, he likes that or, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I have to stop myself and be like, what the fuck? Why am I talking about him? Like, fuck that. Like, <laughs> you know, now it's time to talk about me and, like, what I want and, like, everything. Like, and it's really scary. <laughs> But, um, as far as the future, I am very motivated now to go to school. And what's funny is I was actually, before we broke up, kind of thinking about how, um, I felt like me and my exes, like, my relationship with him was my everything. Um, which I know seeing me not being like, oh, you know, right now, it's kind of like, girl, it wasn't your everything, you don't seem that upset about it, or, you know, you know what I mean? Like... It's not like I just lost my everything. I'm saying it was like my priority. And I've learned now that that is not healthy because right now, um, or what I used to have was him and two jobs and that was it. And it's like, I'm not going anywhere with that kind of mentality. So, and I was actually thinking about this before we broke up, that if me and him broke up, um, what do I have? You know, like, I'm not working towards any sort of education. I'm not really going anywhere. I'm not pursuing my dreams. Um, I'm not happy with myself. And that's what I'm going to take this as, is a chance for me to finally focus on me. And not that there was anything wrong with being in a relationship with him and focusing on him too, but now it's time to really focus on me. And I want to, like, I'm, I'm motivated now to go back to school and maybe meet some new people and, like, make some friends and get out there <laughs> and be happy and work towards something and go study at Starbucks and meet new people at Starbucks and just find happiness and things that are going to project me forward with people that are going to project me forward and um, another advice I can give you guys is don't make your relationship your everything. It's so easy to just be like infatuated with someone and like just love them so much. You want to be with them all the time and do everything with them and but you do have to get your own life in order before you can do that. 
and make sure that you're headed towards what you want to do with your life as well and make sure you know there's room for that person too but that's what I've learned from this and maybe that's why this happened at least for me I don't know why for him but maybe that's why this happened for me is it's giving me a chance to pursue those types of things of course I'm sure I would have hit a point where I wanted because I was actually already starting to think about it um, you know that I need to start pursuing things for myself and I'm sure I could have did that along with him but hey now I can just give it even more focus and um, yeah that's the way it is so no ill will um, please I mean unless <laughs> unless your ex cheats on you or like does something really wrong don't have ill will towards them like it's really even if they do honestly at the end of the day it's more effort to hate someone than it is to just be whatever towards someone. You know, you do you. Of course, it'll hurt. It'll sting when you find out that they're kind of moving on or like what have you. But just focus on yourself and know that you're moving on, you're doing better, and that's the way it is. But again, no ill will. Don't have ill will towards your exes, even if they do something... I don't want to say even if they do something terrible because there's always an exception, but you know what? Just don't put any more negativity in the world than there already is. Just keep on moving to your own thing. Find the positivity. Find the good in it and just keep on trucking. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. And it's hard. <laughs> These past two days have been a little, a little rough, a little, you know, heart in my throat sometimes, but my family and my friends are helping me get through it and I just I can't wait for this next chapter in my life um I hope you guys <laughs> uh, will continue to enjoy my videos and my content minus him um so yeah I mean I guess that's everything uh I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments below, and just in case you want to, follow me on Twitter at Life of Chelsea because I actually posted it there first. I actually posted on there that I was single and if I should make this video. I got two responses <laughs> out of like 14 followers, so you know, um, saying yes, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna make this video, and here it is. So if you want to interact with me that way, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'm going to have lots of time to be on there now. So y'all, if you hit me up, I'm going to hit you up back. So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Love you. Goodbye.